I need to get off my fucking phone, delete social media for a week. <clears throat> yeah, you're not gonna do detox. that. Yeah, right. You think I could? I think I could do it. I don't think so. Uh, I would uh, struggle with if there was a way I could schedule posts for a week, like ske- like make a posting schedule, like where it automatically posts, and I could just turn it off. I could easily do it. Yeah, but my anxiety more so comes from me feeling like I'm not delivering to my followers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel that, and that makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. Yeah, and that fucks with my like, dude. If I don't post for a fucking day, I feel like I'm not doing that, enough. That's what you I'm what saying. saying. So I literally a week. Yeah, I literally get in my head about it. I'm like, dude, fuck. I wonder if they're like, dude, I'm not following this guy. I usually post every day. He hasn't fucking posted today. <laughs> fuck this guy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I get way in my head about it. But I also think we're way too over focused on it. Whereas like people. If there's one good video a day, like, people will be chilling with that. Like, the motherfuckers, you know, I just had, uh, I was talking to someone, and they were like, I don't know how you fucking post so much. And it's like, the fucking average viewer, right, is like, you post a lot. But, like, for me, like, I'm not posting enough. That's like, how I need to I post feel. more, even though I'm posting, like, multiple times a day. <laughs> I'll go like, look at your shit sometimes. I did it this morning. And I'll be like, how many times this motherfucker posted today? Because I posted twice this morning, and I made a couple of videos. And I was like, okay. I was like, he's posted like three times. I've posted like two to three times. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to chill. Like, I like compare myself. I'm like, okay, like, is this too much or is this not enough? For like, me, I think it's, it's more acceptable to post like more times on TikTok. Is that a fucking cat dying out? Someone was yelling. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> now, I think it's more acceptable to post like multiple times a day and a lot on TikTok. Whereas, like, with Instagram, I think personally, I know you post a lot on Instagram, like, reels and shit, yeah. but I do, like, a, a picture post or a reel or, like, one of each, like, max. The max I'll post in a day is, like, two, like, a picture and a reel or, like, two reels, but, like, other than that, it's one a day on Instagram. Instagram is, like, so I was fucking up. Now, I could be wrong about this because I don't know the algorithm shit like that. But when I would post, so I used to make the mistake, like when I first caught traction on Instagram, I would make a bunch of videos, like spend two hours editing videos, and then post all the videos, like the second I was done, like all at once, yeah. right? And it was like... I think it splits your views up yeah, amongst those. It does. You know? and, and people were honestly like commenting like, hey, it's getting really hard to keep track of your videos when you post them all at once. Yeah. So people were unfollowing me. They're actually getting annoyed. Yeah. Like people, I was losing followers. It was weird. Yeah. And now I post like, so if I post more than twice on Instagram, I'll post more, no more than like three times a day now. I'll spread it out like three to four hours. Yeah, in between for posts. sure. I think that's the best, yeah, way, that's to the best way to do it. You need to do like three to four hours in between posts because if a post isn't going to go like fl- blow up or go viral, you'll know that within the like first three to four hours. Yeah. You will. You know what I mean? So after that, it's, I mean, it's going to keep getting a little bit of traction, right? Or it's a real, but like, it's not going to take away from the next video or your previous video. I think the TikTok algorithm has changed because I remember if you would go viral, you would go viral like hours after you posted the video. But like, there's been some times now where like my videos catch traction like 24 hours later yeah. or like, no, yeah, shit goes mine's crazy. Went, mine's been like that. Like I posted it, and then like a day or so later, like it just blew the hell up overnight. There, there. I watched a video. Well, Ruben sent it to me. It was about how it's, they're trying to change it to more long form content. So on if Instagram you, and on TikTok. So if you've noticed, I'm not seeing as much like, unless I go looking for it, like bullshit three second like, like Lord Trunks guy. He's like. Yeah, with just, ah, like, words. You know, yeah, like, that motherfucker. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> ah, like, that motherfucker. But It's honestly crazy how, like, famous he is for that. Like, right? He's doing so well, and it doesn't even make any sense. I was telling you the other day, we were chilling, I was like, dude, honestly, we should just spend the whole fucking day trying to find a little three-second trend and get viral for it and just post yeah. it. Keep doing it. Yeah, like, fuck, dude. It seems the to be what, working for everybody else. That's the thing with that kind of thing, though. It's like, for me, like, I have a couple... I don't know if you've seen the uh, the only thing that tastes better than chicken or rice. Yeah, you should sure goes to a black day. screen. Yeah, like, I've seen that a lot. Those go viral every single time I post them. So, like, I don't post them. I could post them every day and go viral every fucking day. But that'd be you. That's you at that point. Like, what do you mean? Like, like if you, that's your own, posted. that's your identity. Like that's what I'm the saying. The Lord and Trunks guy is like. It's like I don't really like that because, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, 
nobody knows who I am if I just kept doing that. Like, I don't you talk on the camera. To, you want people to follow you for, like, your actual content. Yeah, and it also, it's, it's also, like, kind of, like, annoying, I think, if I was, if I was, like, the viewer seeing that same video every time. So, I post it, like, sporadically. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the one I just posted has, like, 1.6 mil on fucking reels right now. <laughs> Which is fucking insane. <laughs> the chicken and rice one? The chicken, yeah, 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 it's like the only valid meal other than chicken and rice. And it cuts to a black screen. It's still going crazy. The, the cool thing about Instagram is that they it'll go crazy for like a month after. Oh, yeah. yeah the one with wild. me and Wayne. And the one of me like saying, telling the dude to RKO my shit in the gym. <laughs> I'll, that was like a month and a half ago. And yeah. it, I'm still getting comments. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's crazy. And I think with those... That video blew up, like, not even 24 hours later, like, a week later, or, like, a couple of days, I think it was. So, it took a little bit, whereas, like, TikTok, if your videos didn't blow up, like... I would say within a day or two now. Yeah. Because sometimes... It, it, sometimes it's delayed, yeah. Yeah, because, again, uh, that tricep video I posted where, like, I had the chick spot me in the, vid- in the video or whatever, it got, like, 50,000 views, but it didn't get... It didn't break, like, 2,000 until the second day, yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. It's, uh, I think if you're trying to, like, post content, like, don't delete a video in the first, like, fucking hour if it's not doing good yet. Like, give it time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you should delete your videos in general. Sometimes I do because I kind of, like, look back at it and I'm like, that was kind of stupid. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that. But, uh, I say for the most part, it's just, like, fucking... Just post because it's like you don't know if it's going to blow up or not, if it's going to blow up in an hour or a day or like two days, but it could anything you post could potentially I wish no matter I could, how dumb it is. I wish know? I could be like a, a kid and just fucking just post that motherfucker post anything, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's like that lit, though. I, <laughs> no, I, I know. I love it, hard. bro. I, I love it. Wait, bro. Who is this? This funny ass motherfucker with Echo. His name's a kid. What is his actual name? A, a kid. So I think his. His like whole thing. I think he's his name on TikTok is like professional hater. Yeah, I think. No, he's dude. He's fucking hilarious. But even when he does like science shit, I'll redo a video if I like stumble over my words or talk mm-hmm. like like blah, 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 you know do he shit like that. Whatever. And he just he'll literally just be like, oh fuck, I fucked up. Like you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and it's like, it, but that's why I f- it's fucking awesome, right? Like, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, like it it makes you laugh too. Mm-hmm. And then, then I'm really in my head about it, so I'm like, oh, everybody's going to think I'm a fucking idiot. Like, oh, dude, I was yeah. just telling this to someone, but you got to see like my my raw videos for YouTube when I'm like in my kitchen saying, yo, this is meal four. Uh, not that I talk like that. Like, yo, this is meal four. No, we're going. Like sometimes my brain just doesn't work right. So I will say the same thing like six times in a row before... I'm fucking. <laughs> we we did talk about like the one take thing where it's easier. It always sounds better the first time, oh, but yeah. like you know what I'm saying. It then was you just natural the first yeah. Time. Then you just start saying it more and more, and it just sounds fucking terrible. But it, dude, sometimes I'm just like when I'm filming for YouTube, I'm just like I forget that I need to like be lively. Yeah, most. yeah. And I'm like oh, I should probably re say that because I just went like. I'm eating 300 grams of chicken right now, or 300 grams of rice. I think it's, like, also, like, authentic, though, whereas, like, if you watch Jesse James West, there's no fucking chance that when you talk to Jesse James West in person, like, man to man, that he's going to say, yo, it's Jesse James West, we're fucking lifting girls at the beach today, like, you know what I'm saying, like, there's no fucking shot that he's going to talk like that to you, whereas, like, if I make a YouTube video, I'm just, like, talking to my kitchen. Like, I'm talking... When I talk to the camera, I act like I'm talking to, like, one of my boys or, like, someone that follows me that, like, came up to me in the gym or some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, like... I think it's more authentic when you just talk normally and don't do all, like, the fucking extra shit. Sometimes I'll exaggerate, like, certain words, like the intro of my uh, my YouTube video I just posted. I was like, you can have the most optimal leg workout in the world, and if you're not eating enough, you're not gonna fucking grow. But, like, I don't know, in general, it's just, like... I think it's more authentic to just talk how you normally talk rather than, like, trying to... Obviously, you, like, being out outgoing and shit when outgoing is, like, going to get more views and shit, but it's, like, the difference between you. opening up and... There's a difference between being comfortable on camera and being, like, like acting almost. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel... A lot of people act. Yeah. You know, which is, like... Sometimes I do... I feel like low-key I could be a good actor. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'd like, here's the thing. Again, if it's your personality to be goofy like that, that's cool, right? But I I, th- it's hard to explain. Time. No, it's hard to explain. Like, if I get on... Because like, it's not know, really acting. If you th- I'm I mean, not it's a just very, like, like yeah. 
Like, I do impressions. I make voices of people in person when y'all hang out with me. I'm mm-hmm. very loud. I'm very fucking... The protein bar? Yeah, the like, protein shake? I'm very fucking... I'm very loud and goofy and stupid, right? Like, that's how I am. Yeah. If I tried to act like that, like, on social media, but I was very, like, kind of just yeah. not like that in person, you'd be like, that, that, this guy is... Yeah, you wouldn't have... Yeah. Like, people Especially if you know you. me. Yeah. Well, if you know me, you'd be like, that guy's full of shit. Like, he's yeah. not like that. You no. know what I mean? Like... I'm, no, it is very because I think with me, not that I'm like bipolar, but I feel like you're like a different person when you're around people that you fuck with, like your boys and shit, than when yeah. you're just chilling. Like if you see me go through school, like on a school day, you look at me like walking down the fucking, you know, to my next class, and you'd be like, "Yo, that dude's fucking pissed." Oh, do people? Oh, I'm the same, people tell me same I'm not exact a, way. not approachable. Tell me, no, yeah. People so don't, people don't approach me. Am yeah. I in like a? I feel like I. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Yeah, when you talk, don't. If you look this way, it's gonna. It won't go in. You know what I'm saying? Like the most I get is like, I like your mustache. Like that's like the the only. Yeah, we were literally at the fucking football game. This girl walks by. He's like, "Hey, I like your mustache." (laughs) I was like, "Hey, yo." Should have been like, "Yeah, fucking clit tickler." Whoa. No. 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 (laughs) Trying to get that. No. What do you mean, bro? She was hot. I'd be like, sit on my face. What's he didn't good? say she was hot, though. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't even remember. No, I don't to be that's honest. a vital piece of information. Yeah, it was yeah, just no. so fucking random yeah. that, like, no, I get it a lot, but like, that's that's all people will say. Like, they won't like, like come mustache. up and try and talk because I like I look pissed off when I'm going to class. And stuff. Oh yeah, even in the gym, you look pissed off. I feel like that's all of us though. If we're just oh, like I working out by ourselves and shit in the gym. But I've been told I'm not a very welcoming like a pr- and I like to scream. Guy. I like to yell in the gym. I feel like I am. I don't know. It's just like, because when you're just chilling, like I'm in school, I'm not really fucking enjoying school. I'm just sitting there going through the motions and shit. Mm-hmm. There's not going to be much expression, you know, so I'm not going to look very happy. Mm. Whereas if I'm in an environment that I like really enjoy, like the gym, you know what I'm saying? I'm a whole different fucking person. You know what I'm saying? The boys working out together in the gym, it's fucking yeah. just be like sus and shit. No, I know, right? It's always, it's a vibe, bro. All right, bro. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I don't know, dude. It's just like, it's, it all depends on, like, I don't know. I get weird. Like, I just get quiet. If I'm unhappy or, like, uncomfortable around people, I just get quiet. And I'm not a quiet person. Yeah. So, that's when I'm you. I'm quiet if, like, I'm around people that I don't know. But, like, if I know you and, like, we're cool, like, I'm completely opposite. Like, I'm outgoing. I'm Yeah. Like, once I got to know you, I actually started talking to you. But, like, when I saw you at the show, like, I didn't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> like, the first time. you, I think you came up to me. We were fucking in line, Yeah, I think. we were. Because I, I was trying to figure out, like, who else was a teenager there. Yeah. And then I asked you, like, where you were at school and you were, like, coastal. And I was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm going there next year. That's what's up. <laughs> Hell yeah. You taking a picture of me? No, I'm looking at the questions that people wanted to talk wanted to wanted us to talk about. Yeah, well, for those of you that don't know, this is Tyler Cook, correct? I said that right. Mm-hmm. We competed in the same show back in May, and now he goes to the coastal. Where are you from? Uh, right outside Charlotte, North Carolina. So okay, so how far is that? It's uh like three and a half, four hours. Three and a half, four hours. I'm not from here. I'm from Jersey, but. He went to, co- or he's not going to, or he's at Coastal now. Yeah. But when we were at the show, he was, well, you were in high school still, right? Uh, I had graduated the day before. That's lit. So, in high school and shit. And then he's going to Coastal now. Now we go to Coastal together. So, we competed in the same show. Um, what is, how many people were in True Novice? Do you know, like, the numbers and shit? Cause I, I honestly no don't. Idea. I, didn't. I think there was, like, 10 probably in True Novice. Like, would you round up to, like, 10? Yeah, there was probably like 10. I like, 10. That. That's what I was thinking. And then my open class... Did you, did you do open two for I classic? Did, yeah. How many I were in your in class? class than you, but uh, I I don't even know. It was probably five or so. Because I only had me and some other guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was, was a couple with, in my open class because yeah. I was one of the taller classes. Yeah, so I was me. I was probably the shortest class. It was me and some dude that looked like Russ Swole, and I just got absolutely mugged. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's Ter- what we both did. Ruffin? No, you know fucking uh, Russ Swole? Yeah, like the power lifter. The power lifter guy. He's like, like squat. He, I just saw him squat like s- almost 800 pounds the other day. You don't know Russ what? fucking Swole? Dude, he looks crazy. He owns the... He looks uh, like a bodybuilder, to be the honest. The Get Better Today brand. Yeah. It's like GBT. 
I, well, that's what he would look like. He was built like Russ Wool, and he was absolutely Russ, massive. Russell or he? Was it the yes? Was it the classic Alex? Was that his name? No, no, no. I know who you're talking about. Like, yeah, I talked shorter to that than kid. me, bro. I, I talked to fucking... that kid back backstage. Oh wow, yeah, he I looked good. That. Oh wow. Not uh, he looked like him. It wasn't actually him, but yeah, but dudes, dude swole, and he's a power lifter. I think he fucking benches or squats. And he's like, natty. No, he claims natty. Says he's natty. Says he's natty. I don't know. I don't think anybody's some natty. Some people have some freak genetics, but I don't know. Like, <sighs> I don't I'm not know. gonna discredit it. Like, but I'm like, not gonna call him out on his bullshit. But is natty in his bio? No, but he says it in his YouTube videos. I, I hate when people put Natty in their no, bio. You don't have to put Natty in No, bio. just don't do it. I don't care <laughs> if you're Natty or, or not. or It don't matter, bro. Let's just assume that 90% of the population that claims natural is on stage. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, it's natural. just like, what the... I don't what get does it even matter that. at the end of the day? That's what I'm saying. We had this Who's conversation with Wayne at the gym yesterday. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. Like, you don't... like. I don't, this is the only... Like one of the Greg Doucette videos, I actually really like. You don't get a fucking present for being natural. No, you don't. I'm not Greg trying to man. like. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude to like. I mean, again, if you're natural, cool, awesome. If you're not natural, yeah. cool, awesome. Doesn't discredit the hard work you have to put in to get to. Yeah. To from A to B, right? Mm-hmm. It's very true. Uh, what was I saying? We're talking about the show. So true novice. Oh yeah. I think I placed fifth. Please. I'm fucking with you. No, they only placed top five, so I was behind you. So, is that how that works, too? Like, I wouldn't have done... Did you do a routine for Classic? Yeah. So, you still got to do the routine? Well, I got to do the routine because I was top five in a different class. Okay. that's I did five classes. Because isn't it like if you don't place top five, you can't do the routine? I think I think something like that, yeah. Shit, I would have been pissed. If I couldn't do my fucking routine, that would have been fucked. I've been practicing that routine for 16 That's weeks. That's what I'm saying, bro. Shit, Holy bro. shit, dude. That's I, one I thing. would say me and you had two of the best routines of the show, though. Yeah. I didn't even like, fucking see yours. Did you get a video of it? Yeah, I got one on my Instagram. If it's on your Instagram? Yeah. Oh, it's fine. not a high-quality vid, but, like, That's you fine. see it. Hell yeah. My boy Anthony fucking recorded mine. That shit was clutch as fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah. I tried to tell my family who was sitting in the front row. I was like, record this and... Fucking only my mom did, and she got like a shitty iPhone four or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Mom, you suck. But, yeah, so now I'm uh, now I'm trying to get huge. When's your uh? You said you're not doing the show until you're two fifty. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for a little while. Two, right, I think I'm gonna take like a three year off season, so I think I can be two fifty. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I'm on year three right now. Because <laughs> I was I was one fifty seven on stage. It's at, crazy. At the Palmetto. And you've already gotten like a lot bigger. For yeah, sure. yeah, I'm up forty five pounds. Holy shit! I'm up fucking twenty. We're we're getting there though. We get yeah. there. We get fat. I was fat as shit. I was two twelve. Another morning. You're what? Is that a PR? 212. Yeah. PR? 212? The other morning, yesterday morning, I think. You, you finally hit 212 on deadlift? I was 211.6. Oh. 212 deadlift, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. It's impressive. I feel fat. I was 204 this morning. Fuck I'm, yeah. We've been telling you to too. fucking cut, bro. I don't know. Nah, <laughs> dude, I I text Goob and Goob. Well, I don't, this is a really good reference picture. Hold on. Now we got fucking. What were you on stage? This My lowest weigh in, like when I was depleted, was 149.2. But I think on Ooh. stage, I probably was yeah, up to you like. carved up a good bit. Yeah, I spilled over a yeah. shit ton. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, I fucked up. You did? Yeah, it's all right, though. You, did, you, did, you didn't have a coach, though, right? No. So you were kind of just going. Kind of just, you know. Yeah. Night before, I had fucking. Guessing. This is my last bulk, and I'm rather lean. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm fat as fuck now. When I get lean again, it's going to be fun. When oh, I get yeah. lean, I get stupid lean. Yeah, so that's like. what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I'm about to look fucking brazy, boy. Uh, well, fucking let's make it happen. Talking yeah. hella work, bro. I bro, I got to get it. bigger. I want to see it, bro. Exactly. I got to get bigger. Like, you my- fucking big, bro. Nah, fucking dude was like, <clears throat> last check-in, I said, dude, I'm feeling pretty fat this check and he said you're not fat he said you just got to get used to not being so tight you're around yeah that's how that's what matt says to me pretty yeah, much he's like dude we put on basically almost 20 pounds already like it's like we get to 220 like 225 we can see what we can do i feel i'm so getting the 10 more pounds 
I got 10 more pounds. I'm going to 180. You should get to 200, boy. Yeah. I'm up like, when I started with my coach, I'm up like 50 pounds since then. And that was like a little over a year ago. And in that time, we basically did like a bulk and then cut down for a show. And now I'm still up 50 pounds. And I'm, Fuck yeah. I'm still about the same leanness as when I started with him. So that's really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm probably, I mean, 180 is the goal right now, but like, 170 was the goal. Now it's 180. Then after 180, it'll be 190, and then it'll be th- and then you're gonna then be 300, 300 lean. You know, what <laughs> he's gonna join the big boys club. Be over 200. Hell yeah! Me and Tyler are both in school currently. He's a freshman, right? Yep. I'm a junior. Both I'll be exercise. A next year. You'll be a junior next year. Yeah. You just said fuck sophomore year. Pretty much. No, We're graduating in three years, so that's lit. Hell yeah! I came in with just enough. Uh, I was two credits short of being a sophomore when I came in. So I basically made those credits up already. That's so. what's up. Hell yeah. Nah, but uh, we're both exercise science majors. I'm a junior. So we just learn about exercise science. So the question of the day is, do you need an exercise science degree in order to be a coach or, you know, know your shit about exercise science, lifting, fucking competing, all that, nutrition, everything? No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> it's it, short answer. It provides, yeah, short answer, no. It can help. It helps a lot, and it's important to know how to, like, okay, one, so you can't self-teach. You can self-teach, and you can do both, right? And you can be successful doing both, but you can't self-teach if you don't know how to, like, interpret data, mm-hmm. read graphs, yeah, basic math. Like, if you didn't fucking pay attention in school, then you're... You have to learn some other things before you can try to self-teach yeah. some fucking exercise science, right? Yeah. So it, it all comes down to, like, I guess really how, like, capable a person is at critical thinking, mm-hmm. right? I mean, not saying it's impossible. It's going to be harder for you to self-teach if you don't have a foundation of, like, again, we were just talking. So I went to school before I went to rehab. My major was physics. My minor was biology. School's never been my problem. Going to school... Doing all the hard stuff, sciences, things of that nature. Never my problem. It was like staying out of trouble when I was younger. So I've had the foundation of like really high level lab classes, reading data. I took college level classes in high school. So like I had that foundation of learning, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say if you're just, if you fucked around your entire life and you're not very capable, and I hate to say that, it's going to be harder for you to self-teach, right? Now, is it impossible? No, because the information is out there. There's plenty of courses that you can take. There's plenty of $500 courses. Like, shit, Dr. Mike come, has just come out with one hypertrophy course. You can take his shit, and he'll teach you basically exactly what he teaches his students in his exercise science class. So you can learn, but again, you have to be hungry for the knowledge. You have yeah. to be capable of, like, teaching yourself and and then realize, like, you might be more capable of making a mistake too if you don't have that like professional education, right? I just couldn't fucking see him. <laughs> if, if that all makes sense, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's like, There's it definitely helps. It gives you credibility. In the future, y'all will both probably have more credibility than me just by having the yeah, degree. Just, by having, just having the degree, right? That degree is not everything. Exactly, because like we were saying, I know people that have that fucking piece of paper and truly do not know how to apply the information and just talk out of their ass like this. Yeah. It's just like, oh my God, all I hear is... <laughs> it's terrible. And then I know people without degrees yep. that know how to that have taught themselves how to read data and taught themselves the right information and how to be smart. So again, it just comes down to the person, how hungry you are for the knowledge. And then the end of the day, degree or not comes down to being humble. If you don't fucking know something or you don't know if you're a hundred percent correct at something, say that and you can learn, right? Humble yourself, be okay with not knowing everything. Yeah. You're not going to know everything. And then like somebody commented on my post the other day, an old post and was like six months ago you said that triceps benefited from stretch mediated hypertrophy blah 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 this is the definition of two face you're fucking blah, 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 blah and i was like oh my god guy like the fucking data that just came out saying that triceps don't really benefit from stretch mediated hypertrophy is very new there could also be an article that comes out in a fucking year that says 
okay, now that we've looked back at things, they do kind of benefit from stretch media to hypertrophy. You know what I mean? Knowledge is forever changing. And it's also just about how you apply that. I guess the best, the best like evidence to put aside EMG data, put aside graphs, the best evidence I feel like is producing results. Yeah. Would you not say? say? Right. Say. So if you have that piece of paper, that degree, if you can't produce results, then it's worth nothing. Literally. Like I'm not trying to be rude, but like Yeah. If you can't get somebody from A to B, then what the fuck does it matter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about what we're learning. What are you learning right now? I have in exercise science class. No exercise science class. Fuck. Like it's freshman year, I mean they basically shitted me out of, like, all the exercise science classes, and I have to take them all starting next semester. Like, the only one that was technically exercise science this semester was, like, it's like a PE class. It's like an intro Lifetime fitness. Yeah, and I have that online, so I'm not going to lie. Like, all the, like, fitness tests, and it made me do, like, run as far as you can in 12 minutes. Like, I just bullshitted that. I just made it up. Yeah. I'm not running 12 minutes. Fuck no. <laughs> like, fuck no. <laughs> no. Twi yeah. How f <laughs> how far can I run in 12 minutes? Well, probably I'm run to your mama's house. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to run out of breath in fuck. about three. <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> Fucking A. Yeah. I have been doing like interval sprints in the morning. Not sprints, like jogging. Yo, again, I said I hit the bag the other day and I almost had a fucking heart attack. I'm dead serious. Minute, I set the timer for three minutes, like minute 45 seconds in. I was like, oh my fucking God. Yeah, do cardio, bro. That's what I was saying. I was like, okay, your do boy. Right now? No, I guess Dude, I was in. like, your boy has, to Mike. has got to start fucking like <laughs> getting his heart rate up or something because this is not good. Right? Yeah. I was like, this is not good. And at the past week I've been doing it. I feel so much better. I'm not going to lie, dude. So like, what kind of cardio are you doing right now? I just jog. So it's like a, I guess I would say like a, a it's 8.0 speed on the treadmill. So it's okay. like a jog, right? I'll walk for two minutes, jog for a minute. Walk for two minutes, jog for a minute. 15 minutes. Okay. So it's not uh, anything serious, but again, yeah. I'm getting my heart rate up to like 140. Yeah, then it gets down. Down. Then it gets up to 140. And then it gets, you know what I mean? So I'm just, again, cardiovascular health. Not even just trying to fucking kill myself, but just trying to, like, get my heart rate up, manage it back down, get my heart rate up, manage it back down. I think keeping some form of cardio, even if it is just steps, when you're in the off-season or in a growth phase, is extremely beneficial. Because you don't want to just be sitting around all the time. Because then, even, like, you get to, like, your leg training and stuff, like, all that's going to suffer because you your cardiovascular system is, is not being worked. Well, that's where I fucked up. I'm al I've always been so athletic yeah. that... And again, this is where I think a lot of people fuck up. Steps for me isn't cardio because my heart rate's not getting up because I'm fucking pretty. I'm a very I'm pretty active. Right. Yeah. So again, when, then when I go to do something now that I'm 212 fucking pounds, that's a little bit more like cardiovascular taxing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, holy fuck, dude, because I've never been out of shape like that. Yeah. So it was kind of like just a wake up call. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, steps can be cardio. The Stairmaster can be cardio. The incline treadmill can be cardio, but it's not cardio if your heart rate's not going up. It's only activity. You're like mm -hmm. you're literally just true. It's just willy nilly activity. You know what I mean? If your heart rate's not getting to like one thirty five, like one forty, you're really not. We're not like doing anything really. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. If you fucking if you jack cardio, that, I don't think my cardio. When I'm doing cardio, my heart rate ever gets to one thirty five. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So you should pro. I mean, I'm saying because again, you're an athletic guy, right? Yeah. You've always been athletic. You won't notice it because I didn't notice it for like two years. You won't notice it until you hit a certain weight. Yeah. And then you get uncomfortable and you're like, oh, God. Because I was like, oh, like I'm like, I was like, oh, God. Like when I tried to hit the bed because I hadn't really done much of anything. And then mm -hmm. I went and tried to fucking go out. And, dude, I'm dead ass. I was like, <gasps> like I felt like I felt like the kids that fucking quit doing the pacer test in PE. Like I was yeah. like, oh, my God, this is terrible. Yeah. Like. So I had. I would probably had be the to. same way if I try to hit a bag right now. Yeah. So a, but I don't really plan on trying to do that either. For me <laughs> though, it scared me because like, I'm not trying to like, be like having sex with my girlfriend or something, and like literally be like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't just think I would re ever let regular yeah. things. You know what I mean? Like it, but it was getting kind of that that bad yeah. for me. Like when I say that was, it's not good for me to not be able to 
get on my feet and do this for a minute and 45 seconds and fucking hit a bag. Mm-hmm. That yeah, I need to start moving more. You yeah, know like, what I mean? What happens when you got to run from a fucking bear, bro? You know, oh, I'm like your fault. Out of luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go me run I for think me. Like my fight or flight instinct. I don't have to. Yeah. I don't have to. I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun who's ever with me, so the bear gets them. What yeah. If, what if I'm with you? Well, I've been doing my cardio, and you haven't, <laughs> so you're fucked. I'm fat. <laughs> no you one's beating race, me, bro. Oh, dude, I would dust you. Uh, yeah, we should I, race, I mean, bro. I've never, I mean, I've always been like an athlete, but I've never been like considered like the fastest one on the team. Dude, I was fucking pinch running for fucking baseball because I suck. I, I mean, I wasn't bad at baseball, but I was fast as shit. You suck. Okay. So you were bad. I, at I would pinch run for varsity when I was playing <laughs> JV. That's Remember the, that shit? That's the opposite of me. Like, they would put a pinch runner in for me once I got on base. Uh-oh, for sure. You're okay. tall, lanky ass. <laughs> no, I wasn't run. lanky, bro. I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I was never lanky. Like, it might be a surprise, but I was like a, a fat, like chunky when I played baseball, shit. especially. Oh, yeah. Like, I was like the Hitting big, dingers. The, I was like the big first baseman, you know, like, I just, <laughs> you just throw it at Ding, me. Ding, hit dingers. Boom. <laughs> How did you uh, transition from that to bodybuilding? Uh, so like in the eighth grade, it was like, I just remember it was like around new year's time. And I remember like, I had heard like some comments, like I was like, like people would just say like little things like that got in my, in my head about me being like overweight. And one day I just woke up and like flipped a switch. I was like, fuck that. I'm losing weight. And all I went on this stupid diet, like literally was hardly eating anything. And I went from like 185 to like. 128 in like a matter of three months that's why i would say in like the flip side like it's not like picking picking can be kind of like like when i got picked on for certain things it made me want to change my habits right Mm -hmm. picking on can be like good in a sense of like if you can channel that energy yeah. into some something people can't positive. take it though exactly so i don't want to sit on here and be like bullying is good no right because it's, it's not. not bullying's fucked up like i got bullied that shit was fucked like because my mom was a dance teacher she made me dance it was not good when i was younger yeah like it was really bad so that shit was fucked but like what it makes you like what it what it does to you mentally if you learn to grow past that and learn to like yeah face adversity you know you're like fuck this like whatever people say like yeah like nah this isn't happening and you make a change exactly then it's very powerful right but and i hate to say it honestly i saw a fucking uh like Giordani posted it the other day it was like men in 2022 bc is like i've just conquered the world i'm ready to like pick my wife's or whatever and then it's like 2022 like she won't text me back so i'm depressed (laughs) and no but it's it's really like We've become really soft as no, males most to the yet. point where, like, it's almost like, okay, I understand bullying is not good, but the definition of bullying is, like, consistent, consistent, consistent fucking, like, tormentation, right? Yeah. If my kid's overweight, I'm honestly kind of going to want him to go to school and maybe be told, like, hey, you're overweight. So he comes home and he's like, I don't want to be overweight anymore, dad. Yeah. Now, do I want him to get fucking tormented? No. no. Right? Do I want him to have some other perspective that maybe lights a fire under his ass and is like, fuck yeah, I'm trying to fix this? Yeah. Yes. Because like I want. I'm, I'm glad people like told me, even if it was in the wrong way. Like, I think I remember specifically which comment it was. I'm not going to say who it was because I want to like out them or whatever. Yeah. But like, I remember like that last one, I got it. The next day, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. But I'm glad it happened because changed my whole life i would have never i would never be in this position if i didn't flip that switch that day i've got friends now that i coach friends that i went to high school with some and again i'm not gonna out them some of these kids were so fucking mean to me when i had to dance when i was younger again it's like it builds if you let it it'll build a certain sense of character though right Mm -hmm. like if you take it the right way now it does produce like a little bit of like mental trauma right because you're like well fuck that sucks but like yeah if you get over, if you, again, if you, get, if you change yourself, it doesn't become trauma it becomes like, I overcame that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it all depends on how you fucking react to it. I was telling him before you got here, I was talking about the bullying. I got bullied in Catholic school. I used to go to Catholic school up to like third grade or so. And it's crazy because it's like, I don't know if we've talked about this before. We might have, but 
He got bullied in Catholic school, then went to public school and was completely fine. You know what I'm saying? Which, like, you would think, like, Catholic school, everybody in there is fucking good, you know, because they're Catholic and Jesus and all that. Which usually wealthy yeah, kids no. or misbehaving kids yes, that are in Catholic schools. Yeah. There you go. But went to public school, is good. And then now I'm chilling. Now I'm fucking massive. It's because I was small. I was, like, super short. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else was probably, like, I don't even, you, got third. you got bullied because you're short? It was more short and just small, I guess, in general. Not, like... I don't think I was, like, super fucking, like, skinny, like, anorexic. Yeah. But, like, I was just, like, shorter than everybody else. And I feel like it made me, like, I don't know. And I was also, like, shy, I think, too. Yeah, so I, was, I, was definitely I was completely opposite. I got bullied because I was fat. And I was also, like, in middle school. I, I was, like, overconfident. You were outgoing, bro. Way well, outgoing. People don't like... People also get threatened by that. That's why yeah. people didn't like... People bullied me because I really had no shame in the fact that I danced. Yeah. And that kind of scared them. Like, you had no shame in the fact that you were overweight a yeah. little bit, right? So people will try to put you down for what you're not scared of. Yeah. That's what people will always do. Again, you post on social media, you put yourself out there, people put you down because at the end of the day, they're just upset that you're doing something they can't, right? Yeah. So it it's always that at the end of the day. Well, this shit is like, it's whack. You know what I mean? It, but unless you overcome it. I look at my bullying as like, it made me who I am. Yeah. Yeah. But... That's why, like, if I didn't move to public school, bro, like, I would have been a pussy. Like, <laughs> if 100%. I didn't, get, if I didn't get bullied, I would have been a pussy. Though I didn't yeah, have any no. siblings, dude. I'm an only child. I didn't have any siblings. My mother kind of babies me. My father's like very hard on me, but like, you can only go so, so far as a dad, right? Without ruining your relationship with mm -hmm. your son. So like, especially as I got older, like. It just builds character and teaches you how to fucking do. People are gonna pick on you. Yeah. Have you seen uh, Sneeko? No, he's on. He's all over TikTok. He's like an Andrew Tate kind of. For for me, it's more like, dude, if you don't get fucking picked, like, dude, if you live your this world we're creating, if you live your entire life in this cloud, and then you get out into the real world where there's like it really doesn't matter anymore, and then people fuck with you. It's a rude awakening. Yeah. yeah. It really is. Because people are going to fuck with you. Yeah. yeah. Like, they are. Whether it's right or wrong. Yeah, I think, like I was saying, I think he said something along the lines of, like, bullying breeds men. I feel like it's, bullying is, like, almost, like, important in a way. Where it's, like, like you to said, it's extent. not good. It's not, like, it's good. But it's, like, that shit helps a lot of people overcome a lot of things that make them better in their life, like, in general. Yeah, you, you know? again, you have to learn how to channel the the uh, the anger and the energy though yeah because yeah. i had a lot of dude like i had a lot of hate for the people that picked on me again now we're fine we're friends for a while there i responded to my bullying with fighting people it helped in the time being right it also did teach what that taught me is like sticking up for yourself is important now, obviously violence isn't always the answer but like when you're young especially with boys bro get in fights if somebody's fucking with you bro put your foot down Especially if they're like con continuously fucking with you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. bullies don't like a, a response, especially a physical response, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would say they do. I feel like that's like the whole goal though is to they, get a response. They, they want a negative emotional, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. hurt, right? Yeah. yeah. But when I, if you get up, bro, again, my mom used to baby me. So I'd get picked on for dancing and it was always in the carpool line because the teachers don't fucking pay attention in carpool, bro. You know that yeah. it's almost like freedom out there. You know what yeah. I mean? And I told my dad, I was like, dude, this is getting really bad. I don't want to go to school anymore. My dad was like, look, the next time you see that motherfucker, when the teachers aren't looking, you take your textbook, you hit that motherfucker across the side of his head as hard as you can. I said, all right, bet. He said, you're not going to get in trouble if you get caught. He said, do it. I did that shit. That motherfucker never picked on me again in my life. Exactly. There you go. And that, But at that moment, like something clicked. So I was, I always confronted situations with like violence and or being stand up like, like confronting them yeah but ag again the violence wasn't a good thing but always taking confrontation head on right like i'm not going to be disrespected bro yeah you know if i'm being an asshole i grant it there's that right but you're not just going to come out and disrespect me fuck that right like no but you got to learn that as a man bro you do cuz people are going to fucking disrespect you you also have to learn when to say like put your foot down and when to keep your cool right mhm mm but you don't learn that if you just fucking... If you just take it all the time. 
if you take it all the time or if we live in this world where it's like, oh my God, like poor baby, <laughs> poor baby, you got picked on. Like, let's call the principal. Let's expel him from school. I this like, kid is terrible. It's, I feel like, like that's what they're trying to make it like nowadays, though. It's like, like the whole cancel culture shit, yeah. too. It's the same fucking thing. you see thing. the Navy SEAL thing, bro? What's that? They're fucking in launching an investigation because... There was a footage of Navy SEALs training, getting thrown into tear gas, having to sing happy birthday. No fucking shit. What the fuck? You're going to war. You're a Navy <laughs> SEAL. Holy shit. Do you think it's going to be fun? I'm genuinely asking. Yeah. It like, doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sure you don't you have to fucking do that. I remember- Bro, in any fucking branch of the military, I'm pretty sure, except for the Air Force, because, dude, the Air Force is like, you're gay if you go to the Air Force. They fucking make your bed in boot camp in the Air Force, bro. Yeah. That ain't boot camp. One. Two, dude, in any other fucking branch of the military, my buddies in the Marines, you go through a tear gas chamber. Yeah. yeah. Because what the, you need to know what it fucking is like to get hit with tear gas yeah. in case you're in a fucking foxhole and fucking tear gas gets dropped on you, motherfucker. I uh I dated a girl when I was in fucking high school. She was in the military. So I was like a fucking sophomore and she was just like graduated. I think I was either a sophomore or junior. She graduated. And uh, she was telling me about that. She she had to go into a fucking chamber, and it was like a fucking gas chamber. They take your gas mask off, bro. bro. They rip that shit off. My buddy was like, yeah, they literally, they send you in there, you get your gas mask, the tear gas comes out, and they gas mask off, and you just got to keep your fucking eyes open. It's the same thing. I mean, don't they make the cops do the fucking pepper spray thing? And taser. Bro, but that's, dude, if you're going to fucking A, tear gas someone, or get tear gassed, you need to fucking be prepared for that. Like, dude, again, this the world is like, dude, what are we doing to our military? Do you want the yeah, fucking military? Dude, yeah, <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. Oh, my God. God forbid we make these poor gentlemen get tear gassed, but they're going to go to war anyways and get shot at and fucking tear gassed. I'm like, okay. This is like, it's yeah. hard times make strong men. Someone said that. Well, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't say hard that. Hard times I make strong it. men. <laughs> strong men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. Hard times make strong men. It's a fucking cycle. Yeah. It is. Weak men get no bitches. Well, dude, why do you think? <laughs> That's not true nowadays. <laughs> no, <laughs> sadly, it's so not, bro. Up. No, it's not, bro. The weak ones always get the bitches, and it makes no sense. Nah, dude. I also, I did see something interesting, though. With so many females on birth control and it's suppressing like their hormones. The females on birth control, she's more attracted to a feminine looking male. Apparently. Really? Yeah, because it messes with their hormones. Yeah, I feel. So I, I mean, Why do you think all these TikTok kids look like fucking dykes? Oh, I'm going to get canceled for that. Fuck. Yeah, they do. I'm I, not, that, was a, <laughs> that was a derogatory term, the D word. I shouldn't have said that. But they do look like. I like, feel like just overall people in general are getting like more like, yeah. There's not like as many like testosterone fucking dripping males out Bro, there. Look you know at, what I'm saying? Look at my freaking dad, dude. My dad's friends looked like grown ass men yeah. at seventeen. Yeah, I did not. Yeah, at all. It got, dude. It even got like my friend's older brothers were like fucking like grown ass men. It like. 18, right? Yeah. And I, if you've noticed, have you noticed, like, when you were in high school, the kids four years younger than you looked younger than you at yeah, that age? because no, I was at a high Bro, school. Bro, like. I was actually, I was at uh, my old high school's football game the other night, and I was looking at the kids on the field, like, and I'm like, fuck? this is not how it was like when I was playing. Yeah. Like, Dude, I sw- swear the kids are getting smaller. They're way smaller. That's another thing, too, is I think people in general are, like, less athletic and shit because of, like, the... The video games, like the TikTok, people don't really want to go out and like do anything like fucking that requires work anymore because they can just fucking sit on their phone all day. And that's the fucking test is no. And well, it's a lot to do with like food, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like for sure. If you eat fucking pizza rolls and high processed foods all the time with lots of estrogen counts. I'm sure you've probably seen it in your like your baseball team for your, your high school. Like when you, I feel like every single year, at least my school, the uh, the baseball team gets worse and worse, and like every sport just gets worse. I worse. felt like that with the football team a couple of years ago. Like I was when you're looking up to the Dude, athletes, that's what I'm saying. I'm like those kids are like massive. 
And when then you, were, you get there and you're like, oh, I mean, they're still pretty big. And then, like, I'm looking back at them now and I'm like, yo, these are like little kids out there on the football field. Like, when you're like in ninth grade looking at seniors play, you're like, bro. Yeah. These fuckers are huge. Yeah. You're like, how am I going to grow yeah. that big in three years? And then you play and you're like, all right. Like, I felt like when I got there, I was like, we're not as big as. Yeah, no, I felt the I same I was way. definitely like on the level of like, damn. Bro, there's this motherfucker, Jeffron Smalls, bro. Shout out Jeffron. When I played high school and fucking, or football in high school. And I remember freshman year, like, they do JV varsity scrimmages and they put me against this motherfucker. And I was like, uh huh. I just looked him on the line. He's like, I ain't going to fuck with you too bad, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, it's fucking huge, huge, bro. Like, Jeff Ron could grab people, bro, like, and just one arm, like, tackle them, right? Yeah. Just literally grab them. That dude would fall. I'd be like, oh, my God. He just ate him. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, and we got there, and it was like, I was like, where's our Jeff Rons? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have any. No. And now, it's like, there ain't no. oh, my God. It's like, dude, I'm watching Pee Wee football players yeah, that's fucking exactly, play. That's Literally, exactly what even I thought the that fucking. Night I, was there. I was watching the Little League World Series, bro. Fucking, I mean, I don't even know how that. Dude, it used to be. It is, used to be like, crazy though. Yeah, the those kids, dudes used to look like fucking men. That's what I'm saying. At like fucking twelve and <laughs> yeah. shit, like the best in the fucking country would go out there and play. Yeah. Now I see kids that look like they're fucking like ten years old, like fucking Maybe. batting off the tee type shit. Like that's how young they look. I'm like, yeah. holy shit. And it was, I was watching it. I was like, these kids kind of suck. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. They kind of <laughs> suck. Like, compared to like watching, I mean, I guess it also is like perspective. Like, I'm yeah. bigger now and shit. So it's like they look smaller. But like, when I used to watch that shit before, it used to be hype. No, it hype did. is fuck. I, I used to watch it too. And it was like fun to watch. And I thought the kids were like insane. And now I'm looking at it. I'm like, it looks like they just kind of just took like an optimist little eight year old team and took them out there and sure. played. <laughs> I again I think we're all like it, the world's just the we're all declining like in every I just it's every the singular aspect bro. it's bro. the fucking I mean we talk about every fucking pod now it's just like the fucking the overstimulation with all this shit that's I, just so fast everything is so fucking fast now and it's I, I swear to god uh, my kids are gonna hate me why? Because if that motherfucker tries to sit inside all day and play video games, me and him are gonna have a huge fucking problem. Dude, oh, your yeah. kids My are gonna kids be going to playing video. Games nah, bro, I'm, I'm telling like, you guys though, it, your kids is going to school in the metaverse, guaranteed. No doubt, but yeah. dude, guaranteed. But that could be go that could be a good thing though. Online. Yeah, I was about to say there's gonna be no school. Soon that could be guaranteed. a good thing though, because imagine being able again to like. Raise your own fucking kid. Well, no. Imagine if I could. Like, no, if my kid wants to be an engineer. Like, at a certain age for his schooling, I'm like, okay, we're going to buy the metaverse engineering classes or whatever. And now I have my kid in a fucking virtual reality world where he's literally working on a car. Well, you got to think, too. In that virtual reality. Like, he's doing the work. He's not looking at a textbook of how to work on the car. He's in a virtual reality fucking, fucking with something that actually looks and feels real, right? Yeah. So that could be good for education. However... It gets to the point, it's like, when does everybody actually start to just live in that world? I think that's how we are with social media. We were talking about it. Dude, social media is literally like a dual reality. We are talking it about it last podcast. Because when you're, when I'm with y'all and we're doing shit like this, I'm so much happier. I'm in the moment. I'm talking. I'm never like, oh my God, comparing to James English or this, that, and the third. Or am I big? Am I small? Do I have enough? Like this, that. The second I get on social media, it's like I go into another reality. That's mm -hmm. the thing. It's like when you sit home by yourself and you're on your phone, it's so completely fucking different of like how your mental is, how you feel. Whereas if I'm like here with you guys, like having an actual conversation rather than fucking posting TikToks, like, you know what I'm saying? We were posting TikToks back and forth this morning. That's funny as shit. But like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you fucking post shit all the time. You see all like the feedback and it's like having just regular conversations or even like getting feedback in real life or like just having real life experiences is so much fucking better and you feel so much better bro like that's i, I noticed when i'm here by myself and i just edit all day and shit oh, i feel i sucks. get depressed i get depressed that's what i'm saying by the end of the day i'm literally sitting i'll call you and talk to you for 15 minutes after i'm editing all day because i'm genuinely just not trying to sit alone yeah and then i'll get sure. off the phone and like call Ruben or something because I've been by myself all fucking day and I'm literally just trying to like yeah. have a conversation outside of yeah. social media or I think that's why like a lot of people are depressed is because nobody has like fucking social interaction anymore because you can just do everything online 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same. Like, you can Snapchat people and all that. That's not social interaction. Like, I don't care what you say. Oh, no. yeah. And half the time on fucking Snapchat, all you do is send pictures. Like, yeah. fuck that. That shit's annoying. That's a fucking annoying. Y'all are, yeah. y'all are the worst about that. At least... Y'all. What, what my, do you do? You the, like older, <laughs> the older yeah, people? I have Snap, yeah. The, do you Snapchat people? At least... Yeah, but, like, I don't like Snap... If people are just going to send me random pictures... Like, left on that's red. Not a, that's not... Left on red. I never understood I that about the younger people. At least... So Snap came out, like, for us. I would say that's, like... A little bit like the old. Well, I'm like 25, right? So yeah. that's like our app because it came out. And we like did. right. So we like people that are 25 are still like, oh, what's your snap? You know, it's like, mm-hmm. come on, don't ask for my. <laughs> my dad Snapchat. has Snapchat. Yeah, like, <laughs> bro, but like, so he's 50. <laughs> so fucking snap is like, damn. Where was I going with this? Fuck. It was like your generation's thing. So but like we, now we would old. take pictures and actually have conversations. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, that's how I conversation. use it. That's how I use it too. Now, I've seen young people literally open a snap to, to, to take a they fucking even, picture of, an, of a fucking Gatorade bottle. Like, not even of themselves, do, and send it to somebody. That's I'm like, so annoying. I'm like, okay, why? It's almost like Did for you most just people, it's that? like muscle memory, I feel like. Because like, you can tell with some girls when they're like interested you in you or like not interested in you i used to do the snapchat shit all the time i don't really fucking use it anymore but like girls will fucking take one picture they will open all their snaps take one and picture send it and like send it to every guys. single person no matter what they fucking said it doesn't matter you're, no, no, you're okay. gonna get a doesn't blank, matter okay, you're, gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get a blank fucking snap i could have said what you doing and she just sent me a blank snap i like, was just a, i was just about to bring that up because literally i'll be there's a there's I think two people on my Snapchat that do this and it pisses me off. And I'll literally like we'll be having a conversation or I try to start a conversation, right? And I send them something and they send me back a picture like with no response. I'm like yeah. I saw you opened it. Did you just not read it or are you just fucking with me? Like that's the thing with that is it's like it's like what the fuck? I don't know. It's like if I ask a girl if I'm like that's why I just prefer to like talk to people in real life now. Yeah. And it's like I don't even like to text like that anymore with girls. I'll text you, but at the point where we're reaching for conversation, where Fuck it's that. like Yeah, where it's like what do I like where it. I'm thinking about what I have to type next? That's Yeah, what you, if you feel like that's you like have stressful. To say nah. Yeah, that's like stressful and anxious and I'm not in middle school. No, no. So like just hit me when you got five minutes to FaceTime or talk or whatever throughout not the day. Even, I'd rather I'm just call. No, like, that's just what, no, but I'm that's what I'm saying. FaceTime. Like just hit me up when you got some time that day. We'll talk for five to fifteen minutes. You know, you had a good day, bet. Trying to chill later, bet. Yeah, not, yeah, not even that. Just fucking text me what the fucking move is. Let's go get fucking sushi and then go to the gym. But I'm saying like if we're trying to post workout cardio and then we're lit. You know what I'm saying? But like nobody wants to fucking do that because they want to fucking text you and fucking. I'm not even saying. I'm, I'm saying, but just like for daily conversation, right? Like if you're just yeah. fucking with a girl, don't. I'm not trying to text you all day. Let's talk like ten to fifteen minutes out the day. If that's what if that's what we're doing. Right, cause we've got yeah. we got shit to do. Yeah, I'm not trying to like oh, every two oh, fucking seconds. Oh, you just had beans and chicken and veggies for lunch. Really? No, nah, I don't care. In about 36 <laughs> minutes, I'm gonna make my 300 grams of like no. Yeah, I'm, nah. <laughs> like I like. <laughs> yeah, 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 nah is exactly <laughs> right. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah, I'd rather just like that's why. I if mean, I have a conversation with someone that I'm actually like interested in. It's like. Let's fucking link, especially like now because like I have like the fucking dating apps and shit that usually I'll just fuck around. I'll go on there when I'm bored and shit. But like, I got one. I, or I like just started using it, not really like using it, but I just got on there. Like I'll match with people, and then I walk by them in the hallway. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, <laughs> yo, people look so different. Nah, it's yeah, because I'm like, I just matched with this ten, and then I see him in person. I was like, that was like a Holy four. Holy shit, it's great. It's bro, it's coastal, bad, coastal is wild. Yeah, bad. Bad. Well, that's because these fucking um, <laughs> these women wear like fucking five pounds of makeup. And also, even, put like yo, two filters on their photo. The filters, then go you go crazy. Yeah, filters go crazy. Then you go like a photo, and you're like, yeah, bet I'm hooking up with this chick. This is a bet. Fucking we link in. 10 out of 10. Dime piece. Yeah. She gets over and you're like, bro, that's why I will this FaceTime you? a girl. You're like, I will yeah. FaceTime <laughs> I'm like, walks in the door, you got to fucking go. No, but you like. Go. You're not we, the one I was talking to earlier. Can we talk about like why? 
So like, I just like, am I rude? It's for almost being like, like, hey, can you not fucking play Miss like fucking Miss Disguise over here and just yeah. like? It's almost like Photoshop. That's it what is. I'm saying. Like it's literally almost like it's like. I see a dude that looks huge. That's like me getting on Photoshop and putting perfect fucking like a f- perfect physique on me. Yeah, like you yeah. put abs on your yeah. fucking, <laughs> and then you hey. come up and I'm like, hey. <laughs> this is, but this is where Snapchat can come in handy if you're snapping a girl. Yes, and, 100%. She, and you're snapping pictures of your face while having a conversation. You can actually see what she looks like, not when she's trying to yes. like put all the filters on and shit like. That. I always Which ask if they have like, Instagram or Snap on. On yeah. the, the dating app. Well, even yeah. Instagram, it's like, it's it's the same yeah, thing as the fucking Instagram, dating app. Like I've I've walked by a girl the other day in the hallway, and I was like, I definitely followed her on Instagram, and then I went on her <laughs> Instagram, dude. She edited completely this one picture. Different. Like, well, no, she was in a bikini. Like completely on the, like, different. <laughs> her, it was like that on Instagram, bro. Her ass was huge, and I saw it in person. It looked like a wall. I did. I did see a video the other day that blew my mind. And honestly, I'm gonna be looking for objects. I always look for objects on the backside. It was like you know how girls make their ass look huge in photos. Yeah. Always look for a wall or a door or something. Because uh-huh. what they'll they do, yeah, it out, she'll just bro. fucking. T- I I hate to call. I'm mom. gonna start doing this in my bicep photos. Fucking pushing this shit. Yeah. <laughs> just take it from this angle. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah, no, I caught I caught my mom doing it one time on her Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, you gotta clip that. I was like, that. I, was like <laughs> I was like, I was like, mom, the door frame's bent. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, yo. But, like, she would normally do it, like, the other way. Like, she's not fat, but she thinks, like, she'll think her pictures make her look fat, so she, like, edited it a little bit. Like, she never, like, edited, like, a gigantic ass yeah. or nothing no, like that's that. so she would like crazy. make her like her waist a little bit smaller and one time i saw the door frame was bent i was like mom the door frame's bent in your in your last <laughs> that's Facebook funny post. shit <laughs> holy Damn. fuck i feel like there's a way to do it like if you wanted to do it to like nah. i could get on fucking photo p bro because like if goob i guarantee you i could fucking tag goob in that shit and he'll find that shit you want to you test it out Hey. I'll uh, I'll make a video and I'll Photoshop or not a video a picture. Literally, you should put in the cash in. This was made to see if you could find the Photoshop because he'll actually rip on you if you Photoshop your shit. Okay, and you sell shit, so don't do that. Yeah, I don't fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like <laughs> I fucking the only thing that you would probably see in my pictures is like my fucked up color splash. Because if you go real close on my fucking color splashes, you can probably see where it's like that, fucked up. Is that when you like make the background? Backgrounds dark? black and white. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that you would catch, probably. I guarantee he'd find it, though. You think so? Yeah. And we could test it out. He finds some fucking crazy shit that I'm like, I... I that know. one he posted the other guy the, the, the other day. And that, was that was running? That was just... That was... I was like, dude, are I you dumb? the first time, and I was like, there is no way. Like, his arm was literally twice as big when it came up here I know. as it was when it went back. <laughs> he, that's just stupid. I was like, bro... Like you're not fooling anybody with no, that. No, yeah. dude. Like back to the fucking. This is just the craziest thing ever. I sent. I do the same like pickup line for like every fucking like gym girl like that I match with and shit. It's just funny. It's the the I'm bulking right now. Will you be part of my meal plan? Oh, I'm that's gonna try. That's that a good one. one. I'm it's try it. the best one, bro. If you guys need a fucking pickup line, you yeah, write that shit down, bro. Write He's it so down, bad. Right? Oh yeah, dude. It's it's funny and it's fucking it's cool. And this girl that I did it on. I think she, like, responded. I, don't, I think I got her Instagram and shit. I said, no, I, it wasn't even on. I found her Instagram. And I DM'd her that. That's what it was. And it worked. I think I got her. Did I get her number? I think I got her number or some shit. I don't fucking know. But I, I fucking see her a couple days later. My friend is actually, like, cool with her. Like, uh, he went to high school with her or some shit. And now she, they both go to Coastal, which is cool. And, uh. They were. They came to the gym one day. They were at the gym, and Anthony like went up to her, and started talking to her. Then I went up. I had no idea. Like I thought it was just some random girl. And he's like, "Yeah, that's Melissa." Oh shit! I just probably shouldn't. Say that. <laughs> You're Fuck. like, wait, cut wait, that, wait. cut that, cut that. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. that's that's her. And I was like, "That's her." Like literally, I was sitting there looking straight at her as they were talking, and I had no idea it was that same girl. Like, that's how bad it is, bro. That is how bad it is. But, but she definitely knew it was you. 
because you're probably, probably because I because your it. pictures are real. I That's look like me, my boy. I felt yeah. I was no, like like all mine are of like, I look straight like me. up me. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I can. That's funny. Dude, there's a girl well, in my high school that like deep. that. There's a girl in my high school like that. No, fuck that. Leave that shit in. <laughs> fuck it. Find that girl, bro, because if you see her at Coastal and then you look at her Instagram, you will fucking she see. She doesn't look like that in real Holy life. Holy shit. I got to pee. All right, we gotta pee. All right, me and Tyler I'm can about talk. To pee my pants. Yeah. So <gasps> let's talk about uh, exercise science. So right now, I'm learning a lot about. You still learn about the planes. F- flexion extension. So that was okay. the first thing we learned was that was the plane. So there's the frontal plane, the sagittal plane, and the transverse plane, which is all like because every movement you do, like a squat, a bench, a curl, like there's different planes that like you do these movements in, right? So yeah, those are the three planes. And then now we're learning like flexion and extension. Flexion and extension is your can only occur at like your knee, your elbow. It's, it's all your joints basically. Yeah. Flexion and extension. So your knee, your elbow, and then there's some in your shoulder. So like this yeah. will be flexion, extension. We go back there, shit like that. So right now we we're learning basically flexion, extension, concentric, eccentric, contraction, shit like that. And then now we're on to, like, which muscles do which movements. So, like, all the specific, like, what, so like what's it, on the knee, what does the quadricep, like, the rectus yeah. femoris do? Yeah. It does knee extension. Yeah, so it's going to make you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, like, we have an exam coming up, and it's, like, about that. But, like, You're it gets tough when that. it gets down <laughs> to, like, your fucking, your sartorius. Yeah. It's, like, it muscles that you don't really know, like, because obviously we know the fucking quads and the hamstrings. So you yeah. have... Your your hamstrings split up into three, so the semi tendinosis, semi membranosis, and your rectus femoris, oh. right? Yeah, so that's the three uh, three hams. I ain't got that for you. Yeah, I so just know my hamstring does a curl, so I like do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your hamstring will do knee flexion. Yes, it's the bicep femoris. I'm pretty sure in your hamstring, right? Uh, that's what I said, right? You said rectus. Okay, you well, did say rectus. Rectus is in your quad. It's biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. That's what I meant. The and then you have femoris is in your quad. Yeah, so like right now we have an exam coming up where it's like we need to know what, which muscles do hip flexion, which muscles do knee flexion, which muscles do hip extension, which muscles do fucking knee extension, ankle flexion or dorsiflexion, plantar, plantar flexion, flexion. Um, all that. So like the only thing that's tough is like all like the little random fucking muscles like the ones that the gracilis, yeah. the sartorius, the TFL. You know what I'm saying? Like all, like all those little random ones, you know them, right? I would assume. Mr. Optimal. Not as good as well, I should. Well, the ones like bodybuilders that don't, like you don't really focus on. Well, it's, it's all your like, astro- yeah, so everybody knows the quads and the hamstrings, but you, not, a lot of people neglect like adductors, like the adductor brevis, longus, magnus. Yeah. But your adductor. Your adductor magnus yes. is hit. Adductor. Yeah. Hit. And your, so your adductor magnus is usually I targeted feel smart. most in like a squat. I feel hella smart squat. right now, bro. After you go past 90 degrees in your yeah. in your squat, your adductor magnus takes over. Yeah. That's literally, like, so past 90 degrees, your adductor magnus is taking majority of the tension. Now, obviously, your other parts of your adductor are getting some tension, but yeah. your adductor magnus takes most of it in the squat below 90 degrees. Yeah. And then your rectus, because your rectus femoris inserts, not, yeah, no, it, it crosses originate, your originates up on your hip, like, highest out of all the quad muscles. So when you go into a deep squat... As opposed to like a leg extension, I think a leg extension, based on what I learned, is going to more target your fastest lateralis, medialis, yeah. intermedius. Whereas like the, a, the going the, on a deep squat is going to fucking hit your rectus femoris more. I mean, you're still going to hit your rectus femoris and your fucking leg extension, but yeah, not you get so what I'm not just it can't be just a squat. It has to be a squat where hip extensions involved too, right? So like a Bulgarian split squat. Like a rear elevated foot split squat. Yeah. You can't bias your rec fem in just a regular squat or a leg press. It yeah. has to be in like a leg extension or a rear elevated foot split squat where you can get a little bit of hip extension too. Yeah. Do you know the uh, origin of the rectus femoris? No, not off the top of my head. Fuck. The ASIS. The anterior superior iliac spine. Oh, that's really good. I should know all these. What the hell does that mean? Bro, that's the shit you need to, like, memorize in this fucking class. Is like, every single origin insertion of every single fucking so muscle. Your, your iliac that's like muscles up here. right here. Yeah. So the anterior insertion of your iliac spine is just the front insertion on your iliac. So your so rectus femoris is really your fucking, your biggest one down the middle in your quad. Yeah. And it comes up here. But all your other three, your... <laughs> 
Vast is anything meaty, like mead, M E D, is going to be like medial. Which Midline, is like think close middle. to your yeah. body. Think yeah, mid. Lateralis is going to be out. So, like, you have those ones. Yep. And then I think they insert on the, the fucking top of the femur somewhere, mm-hmm. I would assume. But the uh, only one that, like, crosses the hip is the rec fem. And they yeah. all they all insert at the same point at the knee. Yeah. On the patella tendon. Patella. Yep. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that's what I'm learning right now, learning that shit. It's kind of cool. But it's yeah. just like I shit like that. It's just all like memorization. So yes, like if but I, that also has a lot of. You're not gonna over. memorize that after you start coaching people. That's the thing. Four years after you get out of school. Yeah, that's you. The thing. That's why. Like, if I hit if five years from now, if I hit you with, what's the origin. the origin of your <laughs> rec fem? You're gonna be like. Mm. And at the same time, like, are you yeah. really gonna need to fucking know that off dome if you're trying to coach someone? No, Not no. off dome, but it is important again to have the like again the fact that it's good. To understand. I know these things and I can have a conversation about them because I know what you're talking about yeah. and I understand the knowledge because I yeah. I do know it. Yeah, right. But mm. again, it's like when am I gonna tell somebody that they're? If I'm never gonna tell a client unless he asks. Your rec fem inserts on your anterior iliac spine. That's what I'm saying. Because like, why do they really, need to know that? You know what I'm they're not going to fucking need to know. Okay, that. I'm going to do a split squat. It's going to grow this part of my leg. Exactly. Yeah. Now, as a coach, for you to understand the biomechanics of a movement, you yeah. need to know that. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Or, honestly, you don't even know specifically that it inserts on the anterior iliac spine. You just need to know that the rec fem like crosses the it, hip as well. It so it needs to have hip extension along with. Yeah. You need to know what that function is. Exactly. So, again, function I don't have to know the right off the top of my head inserts. that it insists right there. Mm-hmm. But I do need to know why it's important that it has a different insertion point than the other quadricep muscles. So, how how the fuck would you hit a, like a, because you would have to stretch your fucking, The your reason the rear elevated but how would you extend your hip? The, other, the, other the, rear, the reason the rear elevated split squat works is because, again, I'm that doing I'm doing this. And it's literally bending. this. Hip when extension. I raise yeah, my yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah. back foot, I'm doing hip extension right there. Yep. So, that, when, when you go that, you're, them, you're hitting the fucking other week. leg then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That yep. makes more sense. Because it's not only the one. You think, like, the front leg is the one working, but they're both being worked. Yes. When you're, yeah. Okay. That's why I thought I was like, because your fucking your hip is in flexion with this leg when you're fucking up, not fucking extension. So I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Like I see no, a I lot it. of growth it, from yeah. doing split squats. I've had them in my program since I did the show back in May. That's why sissy squats are really good, or Nordic Nordic curls for rec fin. Sissy mm-hmm. squats are great because you're doing as you go down, you're doing hip extension. And I fucking love them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're great. I do like them. Yeah. It, again, it's just a, but comes down to like. I don't need to know that the rec fem inserts on the anterior iliac spine. I just need to know that it has a different insertion point and which crosses muscles, the hip yeah. and why that's important to get extra hypertrophic benefits. Yeah. And like which muscles you're going to hit more in like specific movements. Exactly. So like when you program, you're going to fucking do like maybe like a fucking deep squat Smith machine. The pendulum is fucking crazy. I love that thing. Have you done that yet? I have. Holy shit. You should shit. band it. I did. Yeah, you should band it. You think so? Band it yeah, from the bottom. I watched a thing on Nick Gloff the other day. He's really smart. I just picked yeah. my nose on camera. That's fucking disgusting. His shit is fucking so smart, you gotta but eat I it cannot now. read. Damn. You got to fucking eat it. <laughs> Have you read? Do you read all his? Do you read yeah, all his, his captions? captions? That's what I said. So I try, but like, dude, them shits are so. The pi- long. So the pendulum squat lo- loses majority of the load in the, the top point. third of the rep. So if you band it as you come up, right? Yeah, the the tension, the resistance of the band as it stretches is gonna keep it, the weight consistent. It also depends on what brand of pendulum, because they're not all the same. No, like some of them are still heavy at the top. I've used like traveling to different gyms, and then like you got the one at our place, which is it's not that heavy at the top. Like you get in the hole and that it's shit fucking is heavy, yeah. super heavy. And then you you are at the top and like the top of the rep was kind of easy. Why do you think I can literally? Why do you think I only need to like two finger your reps like right at the first fucking like yeah second of your rep? And then the second you start getting up out of the pocket, you're you're Gucci money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, two fingers is just regular. You know. Yeah. I mean, you, that's why you always ask me the spot. I get up on. I get up, up under there. I That's why I banned the hack squat too. Like yeah. you'll never see, like you'll never see me do a hack without a band. So it's easier towards the top then. Yeah. This is re- if it's reverse banded or banded, it does the same thing. Banded, it makes it harder at the top. 
reverse banded it makes it easier to get out of the pocket, right? If you band a hack squat from the bottom or the top, it does the same thing. It's going to be harder at the top both ways because the majority of the weight is going to be at the top. No, but you know what I'm talking about? Reverse banding it, right? I'm talking about both. So, but how does reverse banding it make it harder at the top? That pulls me out of the pocket if I have the band no, up here. Listen, yeah, look. So, the band is fully stretched when you're in the hole. Okay, so okay, that makes sense because it's taking... T- it's okay, taking I'm thinking t- of yeah. it backwards. So, okay, yeah. But that either makes way, sense. you can band it from the bottom. You just won't be able to add as many plates on that, the side. That, that makes sense. Okay. No, and I completely understand. My, I got... My old coach shits on me every time that I use a reverse band on a hack squat because... He always says re- they're called resistance bands for a reason. He wants me to band it from the bottom, and I'm like, technically, uh, I'm doing the same yeah, thing. No, that makes sense because you're taking tension out of the bottom, making the hard, the top part harder with the yeah. reverse band, and with the regular band, you're just adding tension to the yeah. top, making yeah. the top part. So Is, whereas, does it make like, sense? If you might do five plates on a hack squat with a reverse band. <laughs> You might be able to do three. Three and a half, four. Maybe. Yeah, it depends on how thick the band is and all that. But you're just not going to add as much weight on there. So it's basically the same motion. How much you do on the pendulum? So I don't feel like Your a mama. weak fuck. Uh, well, no, I saw you did three plates on there. I had two plates and uh, my, little, my green band, so. How you know I did three? I watched your video. I'm about to get on that shit and just, <laughs> I'm about to get on wow, the pendulum squad man. just so I can like, yeah. do like five plates and. On the pendulum, you guys. Fuck, you're not doing five. He <laughs> said, "Fuck, you're not doing five. I got four for. Did you see the video of me doing the Smith? I got four. For I did fucking, see that. I got four for eight. I did not think I was going to. do that. And then I saw some dude comment, four and your for, thing was like, oh, yeah. "You're dive bombing into the Eccentric. hole." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like "Dude, dive I went and looked at his fucking profile picture, and I wasn't going to comment this, but dude, the kid's like twelve, and he's just like." It looks like he just plays Fortnite and gets on TikTok to talk shit to other people to make him feel better about himself all day. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. starting to sweat, bro. Yeah, my arm. I'm pretty sure you've been sweating. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You always sweating, bro. Yeah. Like I need to go eat 212 again. 212 pounds to fucking. I need to go eat again. Fuel. I need to go hit a fat dab, a little turp ski, a little, little uh, alien cheddar to my dome piece, bro. What the fuck is that? And then uh, he's just making shit up over yeah. there. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are uh, you talking about? What? How do you feel about the young law tearaway joggers? I fucking love them. So Hell yeah. mine haven't came in yet. They're so fucking. I right. didn't get them. I did get a pair. You Why? Didn't I didn't think they looked good. They, what? They do, they do look bro. Good, bro. Like they look. They honestly look like the TBJP joggers. I didn't think the they kind of do. The, they with the yeah things on there. Dra- I'm. Train by JP is my favorite clothing company there is. Yeah, I love that shit. Like this, the hoodies especially are insane. I would love if I could get sponsored by them. Train by JP is sponsor yeah. me, please. I'll literally like do anything. Yeah, like I got so half my no training young from law. you. Bro. It was Young Law. Now it's dude. dude who is JP? Bro. You don't get them. He said, "Get them." <laughs> this this is this guy. He's no. like the dude. He's like the first bodybuilder to actually. Like apply resistance profiles and all t- like he was not to say like before hypertrophy coach, but he was the first person I saw to take science and apply it to bodybuilding training very seriously, like at a very early time. Yeah. You know I, I mean? saw him after I saw the hypertrophy coach and after a couple other guys, but he had been doing it for a while already. He's just but. not as like fancy with his videos no, and the way he presents his content. His yeah. But if you go look at his post and read his captions, yeah. it's like, dude, there's just. Dude, there's so much free information there. Yeah. If it's he ridiculous. actually just, I don't know if y'all saw, he just started a YouTube channel. Oh fuck! And yeah, he's I starting to put out uh like videos on there because he did have like the train by JP where you pay for it and got like the exclusive stuff. But now he's also doing free stuff on YouTube. So their uh their clothing is like way different than Young LA. Yeah, though. It's like totally it's different. all oversized, like baggy track suits. bodybuilding like track shoot type like it's yeah. literally like you'd wear it for a warm-up at a show i would only wear this clothing working out you yeah. know what i'm saying Makes like sense. the young law stuff like i could wear anywhere, anywhere. and in the gym yeah. right yeah so that's why pull up to the food line you know what yeah the, just like snatch them off bro t- train dry jp stuff is literally like strictly gym wear you yeah. know what i mean like I, I mean some of their stuff like you can you can dress it up and make it different. You could. Like, like, if you buy the whole track suit, like, you're not going to just go out, like, I feel like, to, like, out in public just wearing, like, a track suit for no reason. Yeah. Like, but I'll wear it to the gym, and it looks sick. 
Yeah, I feel like most of the time I'm outside of the gym, I just wear shit that I would wear to the gym anyway. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's I, I feel the same way. <laughs> Main thing though, because I don't really wear. I mean, if I go out to eat, like we, I wear fucking like jeans. I don't even own jeans that fit. I got a pair of young LA jeans, and I can't even pull them up my legs. They used to fit, but not too big now, bro. Yeah, not we they went to fit fucking one fifty five pound Tyler, not two hundred pound Tyler. <laughs> got like five. Like to six of your fucking fans on that post, like really upset. On which one? About the fact that I made fun of you this morning. No, are you yeah, serious? It's funny. Yeah, it's pretty what are they funny. saying? I got it's. <laughs> uh, it's just pretty funny. Reed, is this about the dude with the so like basically the arm no? We're starting uh, we're starting fake beef on TikTok where we're going back and forth just for fucking, uh, just to be fun. Guys, guy says the way Ben does it is how you get a symmetrical physique. <laughs> <laughs> so so basically I post a video and I'm like you need to do your or you should do your weaker arm first when you do a unilateral movement just because if you have a weaker arm chances are that means you have like a muscle imbalance where one arm is you know fucking stronger or weaker than the other do your weaker one first because if you do your weaker one first and you get 12 reps then your stronger one will definitely be able to get 12 reps. Whereas if you do your stronger one first, you could probably get like 15 and then you do your weaker one and you cannot get 15, which means you're doing different reps, which means, yeah. Yeah, this happened to me the other day. I was doing split squats. My left leg is stronger than my right one. Rest in between your sets. Oh, no, I rested like three minutes. Okay. And I did the left leg and I got 15. And do you rest in between each leg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, okay that's what okay, I'm saying. Like, okay, I okay. Yeah. Rest, like, I only do one all-out set of split squats on my... Okay, okay, okay. That is what I have programmed. And then I did the right leg, and I could only get 10, and 10 was, like, dead failure. Like, I almost didn't get the 10th one. And I was like, what the fuck? So I just started doing the right leg first every time and matching the reps with the left leg, which I've found is much more. In general, though, you are, you're hitting the same stimulus. True. My left leg's also bigger than my right one. Yeah. So I need more. Are you left there. legged? No. No? That's weird. I know. It's weird. Really, it's really weird. I put my left leg forward in all my poses, too. I like think well, do you lead with your left leg when you walk and when you do shit like that? Because I'm left-handed, but I, like, lead. I do everything. Like, if I step, if I do something, I lead with my right foot, right? I don't really, I don't know that I've ever thought about it like that. Like, when I, I used to be the kicker for the football team, like, I kicked right leg. Okay. That's a little weird. So, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, so basically, and then your argument is like going to like absolute failure. My Whether argument it's 10 is 10 or that 12 reps, it's going to be the same stimulus. My argument is that matter. your way is correct, and it doesn't, you also don't need to get too caught up in like if you get 12 reps on one arm, if that's RIR of zero, and if I get 15 reps on one arm, and that's RIR of zero. If I hit RIR of that's zero, and I'm training to failure. I'm just getting the same stimulus, right? Sure. So it just fucks with my head. Doing doing your way fucks mm -hmm. with my head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if I get 12 with the left arm, and I you, do the you right, want 12. and I only get 10, I'm like, shit, my right arm's going to be smaller than my left one. But in reality, it's probably not. No. Because it was the still same failure stimulus. at 10, but it just messes with my the head. The muscle imbalance also doesn't come from you just training, right? You have these muscle imbalances naturally in the way that you move throughout life. True. And you're never going to be able to completely fix that. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, I made that video and then he responded to it and he was like, "Yo, this dude is fucking dumb." And then I was like, <laughs> I responded back to it and I was like, "All right, Mister Optimal, how about you optimally, optimally pull some bitches?" I just really fucked that up, but in the video it was funny and I don't know. It's probably doing good now. No, it's fucking hilarious. I mean, I've. So basically, if you want to fucking like blow up on TikTok, you just start fake beef because everybody likes negativity. So every time I try and blow you know, up on TikTok, they take my video down. For what? My community fake guidelines. Beef? Yes, and the other, the last one I posted, it was like everybody would. It was a like a transformation of like I, I. It was when those trends were going where I was like, "Hey, Dad, can I get a gym membership?" Yep. And I posted oh, yeah. it, and we started training together, so I posted, like, a few pictures of when we started, a couple videos, and then at the very end, where we were at the time, shit was blowing up. Like, I never had a video take off like this. And then, like, an hour later, TikTok took it down. Yeah, I was like, do shit. So all I, post, those, I posted all it again. Like, I came back later and posted it. Blew up. They took it down again. Yeah. All and the I'm videos like, of my rehab shit. It was, like, it was like 
taken. It was saying like it's probably minor safety. It that's exactly what it said. Yeah, because you if you post anything of you like younger, like under like sixteen years old, no, no, no they I'm, fucking know. Like it's crazy. I, I don't know. How, I the only thing I could come up with was my brother was in one of the pictures, and he probably. was a little younger. But we were literally like he was just in a pic like a regular picture. Yeah. Damn. So I don't know how, but it, it did say minor safety on it, and I was yep. so pissed. See this one, the one of if you post like my like suicide chase, awareness one. Did I'm you also put your ages in the caption by no, chance? I did not. Fuck no. Okay. I'm 15 in this. It got taken down. No. Nah. No. See, let me pull. Up. Well, you probably you don't. Look I'm 15. 16 in that. You don't look 16. Drinking enough. beer. They Fucking don't know. hoes. They don't yeah. know that. Being bad. That's wild. Yeah. You dig? Who's that, yo? <laughs> Some girl <laughs> at my old high school. All right, dude. I got to eat a meal. Let's do the outro. All yo. Right. You Hold can't on, rush you. perfection of the chicken and rice podcast, bro. We can do it after. Yeah. Uh, see, remove for minor safety. Minor safety, yeah. If you, post, if you post any video of you like when you're younger, it's going to get taken down for minor safety. Then why usually. didn't they take mine down? Cause they, it, it's like a. It only picks up on certain ones, and I don't it, it recognizes. Do I really not look young in that one? I don't, I don't feel like I look young as fuck. Not that young though. Like for yeah. me, like there's some pictures. You don't look like look a little like, kid. Is what like I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like some of the pictures where I'm like maybe like 15, 14, it looks like I'm like ten. You know what I'm saying? I was a little yeah. bitch boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they probably see that minor safety, whatever, yeah. and they might not even think it's like you. In the same time, you're just trying like to like exploit random, somebody else's like, yeah, like a yeah. random little kid or some shit. But that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good pod. Chicken rice potter. We out. Peace. Peace.